Hi y'all, Captain G here. My site is about meanderings along the Mississippi. I'm talking about the little Mississippi. This is located in Ontario, Canada. It runs around Mazinaw Lake down to the Ottawa River. This is my Nordica 16 that I've had now for about two and a half decades. It's called Sadie Eves after my one grandmother. And uh, she's on her mooring here on the Mississippi Lake and uh, bobs along like a little cork. I hope to take you sailing on it. The water is very shallow out there, but uh, the Nordica has a very shallow draft keel, so uh, it works perfectly on this lake. To get out to my Nordica, I uh, use a dinghy. I could walk out there, but uh, this keeps me from getting wet. And uh, the biggest problem is that this year the gypsy moth caterpillars are coming really bad. And I'm moored under a, uh, an overhanging tree here, a maple, and uh, the caterpillars have been crapping all over my white dinghy, which means every time I want to go out, I have to wash it. Not too bad today. I washed it yesterday. It means the caterpillar season must be coming to an end. That's good news. So here we are on shore. May not go out sailing this afternoon. The winds are pretty light, but uh, look forward to doing so in the near future. An hour ago when I came down to the lake there wasn't much breeze, so I thought I'd go kayaking instead. But this is the Nordica 16 up close. She's of 1979 vintage. was originally red and white. And uh, a couple of decades ago, I painted her blue, navy blue. She's got the red anti-fouling paint on the bottom, and then the white to cream decks, and the burgundy covers. My wife restitched the loom cover and just made me a new mooring cover. Uh, you can see the burgee up there, two burgees, one representing the Nordica and uh, the other one representing boat club we used to belong to. So now I'm heading off on the lake a little ways. I think I'll go the other way so I'm upwind and uh, have an easier trip back. Mississippi Lake in eastern Ontario has a lot of built up areas with cottages and a lot of year round homes. But uh, when you're out paddling and taking it easy, you can uh, often find quiet little spots that are uh, nice little more protected areas. And then of course you can swing way around and see some of those buildings on the far shore. The Mississippi Lake was formed when Back a century and a half, two centuries ago, they uh, dammed up the Mississippi River uh, to create mills at the town of Carlton Place, then known as Morphy's Falls. That allowed them to uh, make a wide spot in the river, which is all that Mississippi Lake is. So it's uh, kind of long, convoluted, shallow, and um, lots of weeds, uh, perfect for uh, all kinds of boats. Pontoon boats are very popular on the lake as they are nearly everywhere these days. And uh, at its upper end, the um, river, Mississippi River, uh, is crossed by Highway 7 in eastern Ontario, near Ottawa. And uh, that's at a little location called Innisfil. Then uh, it uh, creates the lake and travels about 13 or 14 navigable miles down to this end of the lake where uh, a moment ago you saw the bridge which is 
Highway 7 once again, crossing over, over the lake. On the other side of the bridge, it becomes the river again, flowing down through the town of Carlton Place, and uh, then continues making its merry way to the Ottawa River with no further lakes in between. I thought this might be a treat for you here in the water on the edge, if it's in focus. I got sun on my screen here, can't really tell too well, but mama duck here and a whole string of babies all lined up. And uh, today is the uh, 4th of July, which is Independence Day on the south side of the border which is only about an hour and a half south of Mississippi Lake. And uh, a year ago today, I had a rather serious single vehicle bicycle accident. Ten broken ribs, bad concussion, bunch of road rash. Today is the first I've been back paddling since then. And uh, it's going fairly well, especially when I get to stop and take pictures like this. Mama's getting a little nervous. I'm drifting in too close to her, so I'm gonna have to back off. And the jiggling motion here is because of wake from passing boats. I happened across this uh, Nukshuk, which is uh, across the lake from uh, where we are, and uh, they become very popular. You see them every all over the place and uh, we can thank the northern indigenous peoples for uh, their inspiration with these uh, I guess you could call it an early form of GPS they could help uh, locate their position with the ones they built ours are merely for decoration the um, kayak I'm using today I have several is um, my favorite of them all. It's an old town Adventure XL 139 and uh, I've had it for a while now take good care of it. Unfortunately after getting it I went to get a second one and uh, old town had quit making them don't make them anymore. Uh, at some point maybe I can show you the profile it's uh, a nice looking kayak three layers of plastic which make it unsinkable and I just got a deer fly there that I nailed thank goodness um, forgot to bring my fly swatter with me today but uh, it's a good craft for getting around the lake here I spotted this uh, nice little Cessna on floats across the uh, our end of the lake I used to fly, so uh, enjoy looking at these babies. Never got the privilege of flying on floats, though, so uh, I like to see them. He's also in uh, very shallow water here with a lot of weeds. Not sure if you can see it through there, but uh, when he's got his prop on the other side of the water, it's not an issue. I'm going to start heading back across our end of the lake here to uh, back to home. Back to the little Nordica 16.